You might expect two singers sharing the spotlight would form a bit of a rivalry, but when it comes to Tony Bennett and Frank Sinatra, that couldn't be further from the truth. Here's a look at the legendary lounge singer's decades-long friendship. Jazz crooner Tony Bennett, who died at age 96 in July 2023 was always a fan of Frank Sinatra. He recalled a time when he was 11 years old, and it was the first time he heard a young Sinatra sing with a Hoboken Four on the 1930s talent show Major Bo's Amateur Hour. Bennett wrote for Vanity Fair in 2009, Even before I heard them sing, I was captivated by Sinatra's confidence. Bennett dropped out of high school and worked as a singing waiter to help support his family. When World War II broke out, he served in the Army and was able to enroll in voice lessons at the American Theater Wing thanks to the GI Bill which provided educational assistance and training to servicemen. Bennett pursued a singing career after his service, and he released his first studio album titled Because of You in 1952. By the 1950s, Sinatra was already a big star with several albums and movies. Bennett first met Sinatra at the Paramount Theater when Bennett achieved selling two million records, as he said in an interview on The Tonight Show in 2016. He was nervous about performing in front of an audience, and Sinatra told him that the people in the audience were his friends and that they came to see him. Over the years, the two singers formed a lasting friendship. Bennett said about Sinatra, He was my favorite, yeah. and I couldn't get over it. Because really? he, was, he was a phenomenal artist, a beautiful singer, and a great person. Although both Tony Bennett and Frank Sinatra were famous singers in the 50s and 60s, they never had a rivalry. In fact, they were each other's fans and often praised the other's talent. In the April 23, 1965 issue of Life magazine, Sinatra was on the cover, and in an article, he talked about his life and music. He also shared his thoughts on other singers and said, But for my money, Tony Bennett is the best singer in the business. He gets across what the composer had in mind, and probably a little more. Considering their mutual fondness for each other, some people have wondered why Bennett wasn't part of the Rat Pack. The group consisted of Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., Dean Martin, Joey Bishop, and Peter Lawford and they performed and acted in movies together. Bennett said that the Rat Pack's busy schedule wasn't for him, but he sang their praises, especially his good friend Sinatra. Bennett said, per the mirror, he was just the very best of all the singers. All the Rat Pack, Sammy Davis Jr., Dean Martin, and Frank, they all had the training. Bennett and Sinatra even performed together. One such occasion was on the TV special Sinatra and Friends, which aired in 1977. Bennett and Sinatra sang a duet of the song My Kind of Town. Frank Sinatra died of a heart attack in 1998 at the age of 82, and Tony Bennett was among those who attended his funeral and gave a eulogy. In 2001, Bennett, together with his wife Susan, officially opened the Frank Sinatra School of the Arts located in Astoria, Queens to honor his friend. The idea came to the couple in 1999 as they wanted to provide a school where both art and academics are integrated. It is supported by a nonprofit organization called Exploring the Arts, which was also founded by Bennett and his wife. In 2015, on what would have been Sinatra's 100th birthday, Bennett penned a remembrance for his best friend that was included in Life Magazine's special edition release titled Sinatra at 100. In it, Bennett wrote, Loyalty. That one word overrides anything else you need to know about Sinatra. He ran the gamut of emotions. Sinatra conquered every aspect of his world, the entertainment world. He was the two masks of the theater, the comedy, the tragedy. Underneath it all, he was a very, very sensitive, nice person. He also wrote about Sinatra's legacy and how people will still be listening to his music for hundreds of years to come. He wrote simply, There was only one Sinatra.